Hey, hello everybody. Um, I'm back in my plant room and I'm filling in one of these little um, jiffy things with the, it's got the little greenhouse deal you can put over it. And I'm planning to put it, I have the other light going over here on my on my seed starting area. And I wanted to show you how dismal my attempts at at well microgreens or whatever. This is kale. And uh, I think it's staying a little too wet or something. This is the radish that I was watching another channel that had these beautiful radish sprouts in about a week or five days I think maybe and these things have taken me I'll, I'll pull one up because I mean there's not much going on there this is give you some idea that's been like a month so there's I'm definitely doing something wrong these are beet which I was hoping I'd have big old leaves in here that I could pick off and stick in my food this little thing is spinach and the little yellow leaves are the uh, the little cotyledons that are falling off the the not true leaves and then back here I've got the lettuce which I've actually thinned out with scissors a couple of times there's a few that are not looking too bad on the ends but they're so small so I don't know I have eaten a few of those but that's what's going on with that and um, down here I'm trying more microgreens oh man I think those have actually sprouted those are the daikon radishes I put them on in one side and lettuce in the other side and I can see I didn't get them covered up very good but um, so that's going on with that I have made that's my last fruit tree I need to plant. I believe it's a peach. And then I have these five winter sowing jugs ready to go out. Mustard greens, kale, cilantro, lettuce, and spinach. And then over here in this I'm working on, uh, so far I've got um, broccoli in these 12. If it'll let me do a little bit more. I'm getting ready to, to put in some cayenne. I think it's a tad early for tomatoes and peppers here in Missouri, but I'll probably go ahead and try some and get that set up today and get these jugs out. So just wanted to show you kind of what I'm doing and show you what I'm doing and uh, kind of an update. So I'll get back with you in a bit. Well, I wanted to finish up, and uh, I've got a few pictures I'm going to add on to this, or maybe I already did, um, showing the um, winter sowing area out there. And I, if I counted correctly, I have 40 containers out there now. And of the, uh, in the tray, the seedlings I planted, or the seeds I planted today were broccoli, Chinese cabbage, collards, and cayenne peppers. I got um, 12 each of those and six each of sweet banana peppers, the Russian purple tomatoes. That was the freebie from Baker Creek. And I didn't use them all, um, so I can plant some a little bit later because it seems a little early for tomatoes. And also six of the Gardener's Delight tomato, which is a cherry tomato seed that I found at Dollar General, I think, or the Dollar Tree someplace in town. Anyway, and six calendula. So, uh, and I also wanted to mention that I've been getting a lot of birds out at my bird feeding area. I've had, uh, I'm going to just read off a few species. I'm pretty sure that I'm correct on these species, and I'm sure there are some uh, other little, little brown sparrows and things that I don't know how to identify. But the ones here, here are some that I'm pretty sure I've seen and that I'm identifying right. Purple finch, goldfinch, cardinal, junco, nuthatch, chickadee, tufted titmouse, red-headed woodpecker, 
red-bellied woodpecker, a common flicker, and a downy woodpecker, and a blue jay. So I've had all those, and it's been so much fun to watch them fluttering about and fussing with each other. And there's a tree there nearby that they can get into. So that's that, and I think that's all I wanted to say about this, except that it occurred to me that if even one-tenth of the seeds I'm planting this spring, even one-tenth grow into something and produce food, you know, I'm going to be eating a lot of vegetables. So that's a cool thing. And I might even wind up with some, some plants to sell at the farmer's market or to give to people if anybody wants them. So we shall see because, well, like on cherry tomatoes or whatever, if I have two or three plants, it's probably all I'm going to need. Um, boy, light's weird in here. I hear Ophelia, the cat, wanting to come in. So I will say goodbye. And till next time, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. And uh, I'll try to keep giving you something that's halfway interesting. And, and we'll all grow together in this gardening and homesteading adventure. Bye-bye.